Good. So this is the first thing we do every time um, I take the dog out um, for training, for a training session. The first thing is I have to take the dog out here for the dog to potty. It's never too late to train any dog to potty. I always say this. It's all about the timing and how well you do it. If you go to the dog's um, kennel and bring the dog out at least two to three times every day, the dog will never potty in his or her kennel. It is so easy to do this. Only thing it requires is consistency and your dedication. So this is the first thing we do every time before we start the training. Right now we want to do some um, bite exercise. You know, it's more like play with the rope teaser. So I'm gonna start that right now. Sus! Hey boy! Sus boy! Get it 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 boy! Yes! Good boy! 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 That's a good boy. Good boy, Zeus. Good boy, Zeus. Good boy. Good boy. So right now we're encouraging the dog to play and to use his teeth to bite. But at the same time, we're teaching the dog that it's okay to bite this toy here. But it's not okay to bite the, the water hose and to, to bite clothes that are on the clothing line and um, destroy them. This is what I call channeling the dog's energy. You're redirecting the dog's energy to something else. So this, it's okay to bite this, but it's not okay to bite clothes, to bite sanders, to bite uh, um, household um, items that are usable and useful. It's not okay to bite them, but it's okay to bite this toy. So you teach the dog, biting is not uh, a bad behavior. Playing is not a bad behavior. But there are certain items you don't play with and there are certain items you play with. So that's basically what we're trying to do here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Good boy. And at the same time, we're also teaching the yes. Because we're going to be starting obedience training soon. So I have to condition the dog to be able to respond to the yes. Because the yes is going to be a reinforcer, a positive reinforcer when we start obedience training. So that is why each time before the dog takes the toy or before the dog buys the toy, I always say yes. So that way we are also conditioning the dog to the word yes as a positive reinforcer. All right, so everything we do in the training program is intentional. Every single thing we do is intentional because we are going to use it in the future. One thing leads to the other. So that is why we're working on redirecting the energy at the same time we're teaching the dog to respond to the yes.